Hello, this is Yanis from Any Repair. Today we are having uh, for repair a Lenovo ThinkPad T14S that uh, is not uh, recognizing the NVMe SSD drive. So let's go and see how we'll deal with this damage. This is the notebook. We have already removed the bottom cover. We have uh, removed the sealed the heatsink that is uh, for the SSD drive, the NVMe drive. And uh, now we will uh, check and uh, see the previous repair attempt for another technician that couldn't solve the problem. And the notebook is here with us now. We will uh, focus on the right and the left uh, side of the slot. You can see there are some uh, some work that is already been done. So uh, there are some uh, soldering marks on the pins on the left. You can see these four pins that uh, are not uh, properly connected and uh, these four pins on the right that also are not very well, very well connected the other pins on the right on the middle not connected properly uh, there is a lot of uh, work we must do but the problem is uh, that the slot is having some problems. Uh, I will try to focus in order for you to see it's not very easy to see inside the slot because uh, I can see you can see the light, the different, the different uh, light that is uh, illuminating the pins. You can see that the pins are not equally lighted by the microscope light. You can see that this level of the pins is higher than it should be. Not only because it is not soldered properly on the pads of the board, but uh, I am describing you because you, maybe you cannot uh, understand what you're seeing. Uh, the inside the pins that are going inside in the slot are broken and they are lifted. If you can see, they are lifted and cannot. Uh, be connected uh, on the slot and if we plug our NVMe the pins will not contact the NVMe and the pads you can see I am using my tool that you can see that are broken inside You see that I lifted one. It is not properly connected inside the slot. It is broken. Let's go and see better, hopefully, on the other side of the slot. Maybe you can see better now because the light is more even. You can see that Oh, you, you saw that I poked the pin and just left this, uh, the slot. So the pins are not connected inside the slot, are broken and not soldered properly on the board. So we must uh, remove the slot and replace it with another. Let's go and see. the process 
we will add some uh, isopropylic in order to remove this adhesive tape. That is uh, for uh, st stabilizing the heatsink. Now we will uh, remove this uh, epoxy that is holding the pins from the other side, not the broken. We're removing it with uh, flux, with uh, our tweezer and uh, 2000 degrees Celsius with our heat gun. We're adding flux. We will use uh, low melt solder to make things easier. We're using low melt, bridging everything to do our job easier. We don't want to mess with the pads, so that's uh, the reason that we are adding a low melt. We don't want to rip any pads, we want, don't want to force the socket and rip a pad. We are using our heat gun, we are using some seals not to damage, not to harm anything around. It is moving and it is off. So now we must clean. We will use a soldering wick, our soldering pen, to remove the low melt solder that we have added previously. Clean every single millimeter of these uh, pads, removing the low melt solder. Using flax is always a good advice. We will clean with the propylic alcohol and cotton pad. Clean is a good thing because you can see things like that I was removing earlier. Clean again. Things are better. We're removing any solder blob that can harm our new socket. This new socket is a donor, of course, from another from another board that is matching. So we'll uh, add some solder for anchor. We will press down the slot in order to be nice and flat on the board. We're adding ground pads first, solder, and pressing down the, the slot in order to be firmly attached. And now it's the time for us to add flax and solder everything we are not uh, minding the bridges now we're trying to make the things right any bridge we will deal later we're adding some uh, solder
maybe I must change my tip. Maybe I need some better heat transfer with a large with a larger tip. And this is it. You can see much better now. The heat is transferred better properly. It needs work, of course. It's not a very easy job. We're trying to thin every pad and every pin. But the pads are in our main interest. We're not uh, taking care of uh, the bridges, the bridging we are doing with our soldering iron. We will, we will take care of it later. After the slot is fully attached and uh, placed firmly on the board and uh, shoulder properly. Flux is always a friend of us. We, are we have changed the tip to a smaller one to do the job properly. After we have uh, used our bigger tip for better heat transfer and thinning the pads properly. And now it's much easier to work with our smaller tip. We are doing likewise. We are turning the board around to work with the other side. Flux is our friend. We work uh, likewise with flux, with soldering iron. We're pressing the pins down, you can see, to attach the board. If any pin is not attached, we're pressing it down to be flat. in order to be to be soldered in place and now we have skipped we have skipped the soldering uh, process now we will clean up the mess with isopropylic alcohol and uh, cotton pad you know the drill, you have already watched the soldering of the half of the slot. You can see that uh, the pins are properly connected. You can test them with, our, with any tool, with any sharp tool, with our knife or a tweezer. And now uh, it is the time of truth. Now we will uh, insert our NVMe drive. We will screw it uh, in place in order not to move when we are turning the notebook upside down. We are attaching the battery. I'm trying to find my Type-C charger. There it is. And now it's the time to plug the charger and check. 
after pressing the power button. If the NVMe drive is detected, let's see, pressing the enter and there it is, the Samsung NVMe 2 terabytes drive is present. So, we are done, we are successful, we have a very happy customer. That was the repair as you saw. If you like this video, consider like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching. See you in another repair. Bye.